let's continue so it was so stressful i applied to more than 50 jobs in that company yes like i never got a summer internship that year the next year i applied again i did not get a summer internship the upper year I applied no summer internship so three years in a row i did not get into the company now i was almost graduating so i started applying for full-time jobs in that company internship did not work out so let's try the full-time job so god did not let me give up i kept on going to the networking events so if you look at my journey three um three years going to networking events nothing to show for it then one day i received an email there was a networking event in the evening and i told god i was not going <laughs> i was tired of attending networking events nothing to show for it god told me i should go for it so i was like hmm i never knew god had a surprise for me so i told god i did not want to go god kept on encouraging me so i had this attitude i was like okay god i will go because of you <laughs> oh my god so i was like god when i get there i'm not gonna stress myself like i used to stress myself like i would do less talking because i'm tired three years so i was telling god how frustrated i was so i got into the bathroom changed my clothes to my business suit so i had this attitude that i was dressed and i was like god i don't want to go like i almost cried i did not know today was my breakthrough so i experienced a lot of resistance the devil did not want me to go that day so i got to the networking event normally anytime i get there i'll start talking to people introducing myself giving my resume but this day was different i was like god i'm not talking to anybody please bring the right people to me i'm tired of meeting the wrong people i did not know that holy spirit like i did not know that that was holy spirit led prayer you know like hmm, until god brought someone that changed my life so as i stood in one place and i was just praying in my heart this guy approached me he used to be a class ahead of me but now he had graduated and was working for a different company so he came to say hello to me and he was like how are you and i was like i'm good and he was like what company are you interested in so normally when people ask me that i would mention a couple of companies then my favorite one but today hmm, because i was exhausted tired frustrated i went straight to the point i told him you know i want to work for this company i've been trying to get this so my internship i got nothing and now i'm my, i'm in my final year and i'm trying to get a full-time job but i got nothing and i asked him do you know anyone that works in this company that can help me so side notes real quick so this networking event is for africans and black americans however you see americans too so this guy I was talking to was black american so i told him my frustrations in a professional way and he was like you know i know someone that can help you he works in that company mm, okay and he said he's even a nigerian oh, I'm like, okay and he said he's actually president of this networking event i was like what wow okay so i was surprised because you know i have been going to this networking event for three years and i never met the president i never knew he was nigerian so in my mind i was praying and i was like god please help me let this president help me so the black american said I should wait here he will go get the president so i was like okay thank you so the president came to me and he asked for my name so you know then he knew that i was nigerian like if you if you are a nigerian and you hear my name taye taye you will know that i am a nigerian and i am a twin so because that is what my name means. 
So the president was so happy to see me, you know, in Nigeria, you know, like you at least see Nigerians in, in that kind of event. So he said, speaking to me, Yoruba, Bawoni, you know, which means, how are you? So I smiled and replied in my mind. I was just praying. I was like, God, help me. I'm not here for fun. I just want a full-time job. <laughs> Please use this man to help me. So he looked at my resume and he said I should email him my resume that he would talk to some few people in his company, you know, in the company I wanted and get back to him and get back to me glory to god so i was like thank you so i got his business card i prayed in my mind that god let this work out i never knew this was god's divine helper like after talking to him that night in that event first in the morning i emailed him my resume he responded that he saw my email he would get back to me like that was a good sign because sometimes you email people after the networking event, you don't hear back. So as I was waiting for him, I was applying to other companies I did not like. No backup, op backup option. <laughs> so I got a job offer from another company. But I did not want to work there. I wanted to work in my favorite company. So as I was waiting to hear from the Nigerian guy, over the weekend I was deliberating, should I wait for him or should I accept the job offer from another company? So my church had a night vigil. So I attended the night vigil via online. As I was in the night vigil seeking the face of God, should I take that job offer or wait? God spoke to my heart. God told me to turn down that job offer from the company that I did not like and I should wait for my favorite company. He would use the Nigerian guy to help me. <sighs> it's a good thing to hear from God. So God answered my question. It was a huge decision and God gave me a great decision. So I felt the peace of God to let that job go and wait for the Nigerian guy. So I walked by faith. That was a big risk. What about you? Before you make any decision, ask God to direct you. He sees tomorrow. Do like David. David said, God, should I pursue, overtake? Will I win? God said, yes, son, pursue, overtake, you will win. Remember 1 Samuel 38. Same for me. God said, no, don't take that job. Wait for the Nigerian guy. So I listened to God. I turned down the job offer and I waited. And guess what? The Nigerian guy reached out to me and he told me that he was able to talk to some people. They would call me for an interview. I was like, what? <laughs> for the first time in three years, I'm able to get an interview from the company I liked miracle think about it if i had not gone to the networking event that night i would not have met the president of the networking event thank god i listened to god you know i was tired but i went to the networking event i was exhausted but i went i was complaining but i went you know i just obeyed god hmm but no in my mind i had given up but i just like okay let me just go you know so <clears throat> i positioned myself like god helped me to position myself in that event i depended on god i did not depend on my strength and i was there because i obeyed god so that day was actually a special day <clears throat> So it's important to go where God wants you to go. I was going to the event because God wanted me to go, but I got tired of it. <clears throat> we continue the next video.